Christian Church on this very happy April 19th, year 2020. This is a time when we will do announcements and then followed by a time of greeting. For just a couple of announcements, we hope everyone's been able to access the Sunday service, the devotions, and the sermons, and we very much appreciate you taking time to tune in, to get log on, uh, to watch this service. But if you are still having problems, like some people have, uh, accessing the sermons or the devotions or the Sunday service, please call the church office. We have resources, skills, and people who may be able to help you uh, be able to access that reliably. Also, as we said before, if you have a need, someone to run get groceries or to get something you haven't been able to get a hold of, run an errand for you, please call the office. There are people at the church who are more than happy and willing to do that. Let's pray. Father, we give you thanks in everything, and it's the day you have made, and we thank you for that. I just lift up this service, Lord, and uh, each person watching that uh, you know their needs. I ask, Lord, that you give them this, the spirit of worship and that you will uh, stir their hearts, Lord, to increase their faith in, the, in you and their love for you and their devotion to you. I pray these things in your Son's holy name. Amen. We'll take some time few seconds or a minute or about a minute or so to greet the people around you. So 
Good morning from Antioch Christian Church again. This is the time when we do communion. I think we'll do communion a little bit differently than we did last Sunday. There'll be a communion meditation and a prayer, and then there'll be time for everyone to take both the bread and the juice with their family or whoever's with them at home. After the resurrection, Jesus appeared to his followers, proving he was alive. He appeared to disciples on the road to Emmaus. They went back to Jerusalem and told the apostles about it. Gospel of Luke chapter 24 verses 36 through 43 recorded what happened next. While they were talking about it, Jesus appeared among them and said, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened as if they'd seen a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts rise in your mind? Look at my hands and feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. When he had said them, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have something to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Jesus ate food in their presence. He proved to them he was not a ghost, not a three-dimensional hologram or some other kind of apparition. He was alive in the flesh. Surely they recalled his words at the meal he had shared with them the night before he died, when he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. His body was not destroyed, but it was given for them. It was given for us. And we can recall these words recorded in the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 35, when he declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and if anyone believes in me, he will never thirst. He went on to say in verse 40, My Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him will have eternal life and I will raise them up at the last day. We can understand that this wafer, this bread we take, represents, it's a symbol of Christ himself, the Word of God who became flesh, made his dwelling among us, the Word of God who sustains us in this life and in whom lives the promise of eternal life. Let us pray. Lord, we take communion in remembrance of you as you instructed. And this remembrance has not changed through the ages. It remains the same in hard times and in comfortable times, in good times and in bad times, in glorious times and in desperate times. Even these days are more difficult for some than for others, but you remain the same. And communion reminds us that we know how loving and gracious your Father's will is for us. And we remember that you accomplished your Father's will on our behalf. And we take this communion and we remember you in your holy name. Amen.
Thank you.